Hey guys, welcome Hi, back to Popcorn in Bed. Woo woo. Tonight is my popcorn pick of the month for oh, the 18th month again. <laughs> and we're watching Meet Joe Black. What do you know about it? I know Brad Pitt's in it. Mm -hmm. right. When I was telling her, I was like, do you want to watch this movie? It's called Meet Joe Black. She's like, mm, I haven't heard of it. And I'm like, it's got Brad Pitt. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, baby. Meet Joe Black sounds like, I keep thinking it's gonna be like one of those like dumb humor shows. Maybe because I'm thinking I of like think Jack Black or something or like oh, yeah. that. I don't know. I think it's a drama. I think yeah. it's about a gorilla. Oh, that's the strangest thing I have ever heard. Like like a like a nice girl. Like they like become friends. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like maybe he's a trainer or something. I don't know why. I don't know. I, just think I had a friend tell me that. that it is iconic. So now my expectations have arisen. Someone sent me a gift trying to convince me to watch this. And it was just like Brad Pitt like turning and it is like young Brad Pitt and oh, like Legend of, and of the Fall Brad Pitt. Here we are watching it this month. So it worked. Oh, I know Anthony Hopkins is in it. Do you know who that is? He was in Legends of the Fall. He was their dad. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. All right. Okay, so Don't here we are. Don't forget to like and subscribe here. Patreon. Patreon. Super fun community. Okay, right here. Okay. Let's watch Meet Joe Black. Yeah. I hope he doesn't live in this giant house alone. I know. For a beautiful house, that bed does not look comfy enough. Yeah, seriously. God, we're running out of time. Am I trying to be too perfect? Oh, but I wanted to be so exquisite. She seems oh, like the hello. ultimate, like, rich lady. Hi. Yeah. Lights. In our food is the pros of a party. Then lights. Or it's poetry. <laughs> I don't think you appreciate yeah. that line. Morning, Mr. Parrish. What do you think of all this, Helen? Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. And I trust you. This is your thing. But it's your birthday. I hate arrows. They make me nervous. I hate parties. Oh, Daddy, calm down. <laughs> You're gonna love it, I swear. Isn't it enough to be on the earth for 65 years without having to be reminded of it? No. Truth told me. Does he tell you everything? I hope so. You like him, don't you? Yep. I guess so. I thought Drew was his I son. Our boy now. Oh, he works with him. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I did hear a voice last night. What did it say? Yes. <laughs> yes to the deal? Maybe, who knows? You know how voices are. You're only 65 months, Dad. Thank God. Now let's get this thing started. Remember, dinner. Are you going to marry him? There's not an ounce of excitement, not a whisper of a thrill. I want you to get swept away out there. I want you to levitate. I want you to. I'm mm -hmm. really loving this. Yeah. Be deliriously happy, or at least leave yourself open to be. Fall head over heels. Find someone you can love like crazy and who'll love you the same way back. How do you find him? Well, you forget your head and you listen to your heart. And I'm not hearing any heart. Well, I feel like she knows what he's saying is true. Yeah. But you have to try, because if you haven't tried, you haven't lived. I feel like I'm this speech monogrammed on my walls. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Stay open. Who knows? Lightning could strike. Is Brad Pitt going to be lightning? Oh my gosh, I hope. Cheers to Cheers. that. <laughs> Not you. What's the matter, Dad? Nothing, I'm sorry. I want you to levitate. I want you to sing with rapture and dance like a dervish. He's hearing himself. Dance like a dervish. Are you okay? Yeah, got my gloves on. My ears pricked, ready for action. Okay. <gasps> There's a time to sow and a time to read. You have to sow. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. No, I liked him. I don't like him anymore. Mm -hmm. Let's do the big reveal. Good morning. I was talking kind of loud there. I'm so are you. It was fascinating. Yeah, what was fascinating about it? Oh, and, uh, honey? It's my kid's sister. She just broke up with her boyfriend and was thinking about dropping out of law school. That's the way it is with men and women, isn't it? Nothing lasts. Oh, yeah, I agree. Really? Why? I'm interested. 
I was just trying to be agreeable. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> that smile. <laughs> that was a problem with Honey's guy. He didn't know what he wanted, so he's fooling around. And like one girlfriend isn't enough for him. So you're a one girl guy? Yes, I am. Looking for her right now, actually. Mm. Oh, okay. Who knows? You might be her. Bold. I just got into town. I got, got the new job. I'm trying to get in this apartment. What kind of doctor? Um, I'm a resident, internal medicine. So if I needed a doctor, you could be it. I could be her. Yeah. Some movies where like the small talk flirting seems so unnatural, but this doesn't. It seems. I know. Like. No. Yes. No. Oh my gosh! It's so Call for help. Can you? Come on, come on. 911. Phone's right on your desk. Yes, what? Yes, is the answer to your question. Uh, I didn't ask any question. How are you? I think you. Call 911. Uh, I don't. Why? Because if you haven't tried, you haven't lived. That's what he said. He's supposed to fall in love again? Are you giving me orders? No. That's his own voice. No, yeah. you're not. This is the one situation you knew. Never could handle. It's enough. Oh my gosh. Is this scary? I don't know. This is so different than I was expecting from the little cute cafe scene. Yeah. Okay, this is where you check yourself into a hospital, though. And yeah. still get, like, checked. Yeah. Run up. Talk to me, please. Echo. There's going to be plenty of time for that. This is like Field of Dreams esque. Remember, he heard yeah. the voices in the corn. Like, if you build it, then you build it. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Meaning doing good? That's me. Give up what you want for the woman you marry. Yeah. You know what? I would. Gladly. What's wrong with taking care of a woman? She takes care of you. You'll have a hard time finding women like that these days. I don't know. I don't think I'm in trouble. <laughs> Lightning could strike. But your dad said, you're right. You know, I was thinking, I don't want you to be my doctor. I don't want you to examine me. And... Why? Because I like you so much. Oh, I have chills. I have chills. <laughs> I don't want to examine you. Why not? Because I like you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Are we watching a chick flick? I think I might love be. this for us. Do they exchange names and phone numbers, I hope? I mean, they have phones. But now, he knows where she works. They know the coffee shop. Oh, we keep missing each other! I know it's like serendipity. Look back again. Oh! Do they even exchange names? I don't know. Twice. Oh, um, my gosh, that was highly, that was crazy, highly unexpected. I did not like it. You haven't heard a word I've said, have you? What, honey? Sorry. Yeah. Daddy. So I feel the dream is like Green Goblin esque. <laughs> did you miss me, Bill? What are you looking so provoked about? Did you miss me? It's a normal question. I'm waiting outside the front door. Won't someone let me in? Is there somebody at the front door? I didn't hear a ring, sir. Have a look, would you please? You're right, Mr. Parrish. There was a gentleman at the door. He's waiting for you in the foyer. Okay, but can we just know that Brad's okay? Brad's okay. okay. <laughs> He'll go to the hospital. I'm putting into the universe. Yes. Okay, oh, so it has to be. Anyone here? I said, is anyone here? Quiet down. Where are you? I'm here. Out of the maid? Yeah, oh, she hey. saw someone. Where are you going, Bill? I, uh... This is creeping me out. I know. The great Bill Parrish at a loss for words. Rosy advice you dispense in round, pear-shaped tones. What the hell is this? Who are you? Just think of millenniums multiplied by years, compounded by time without end. I've 
been around that long. But it's only recently that your affairs here have piqued my interest. I want to have a look around before I take you. I don't want to die. Take me where? It requires competence, wisdom, experience. All those things they say about you in testimonials. And you're the one. The one that I want. Show me around. Be my guide. And in return, you get... I get what? Time. Minutes. Days. Weeks. What matters is that I stay interested. What? This is like so getting strange. like supernatural. Like I know. Yes, is the answer to your question. I think this is about a gorilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same. I forgot you said that. The question you've been asking yourself with increased regularity. Question. Yes, Bill. Show yourself. I know. The question. Am I going to die? voice what is happening you're coming to take me what is that I mean, who the hell are you you are yes who am i death you're death hmm. yes what in the world he was the guy in the cafe he liked your daughter he very just much die though because he got hit by yeah, not dead. He's just a kid in a suit. The suit came with the body I took. Let me ask your opinion. Do I blend in? Died? The real guy and then death went into his body? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mr. Perry, will the gentleman be staying for dinner, sir? Yes. Oh, shoot. Is the daughter going to be at dinner? I don't want... I don't want... I don't know. Him to... well, just, that's not the same guy that was no. in the cafe. It's not the same soul. When I introduce you, if I say who you are, I don't think anyone will stay for dinner. Then don't. Sorry to have uh, stepped away for so long. This is a friend of mine I asked to drop by. He's going to join us for dinner. Daddy, does your friend have a name? This is, um... Daddy, come on, a name. Bill, the suspense is killing me. I'm sorry, this is... Joe. Like Smith or Jones or... Joe Black. Black. At last. Nice to meet you, Mr. Black. Hey. hey. What is going on? So confused. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to have that dinner with my friend. He's, she's, he's not going to know where I know. What are you doing here? You know each other? Um, we've met. Um, this morning, the, the Corinth coffee shop, he was, uh, he was, he was looking for a doctor. Joe, you do get around. That's your name? And isn't it a lovely one? Where are you staying? Here? Yes, in this house. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What? This is weird. I mean, how is it that you happened to meet my daughter? I didn't meet her. The young man I took met her. I don't get it. What does he want? Is and will he, like he give ghost? Will he give the real person the real Brad back? Because Hello, I'm Joe Black. Yes, of course, Mr. Black, sir. What is that? It's uh Laura Scudder's peanut butter, sir. Could I offer you a taste, sir? Yes. It's like an alien. I know. Like, doesn't know. <coughs> uh, more? <laughs> what on earth is going on? I thoroughly enjoyed this peanut butter. And I thoroughly enjoyed meeting you all. <laughs> This is weird! I know! What are you doing here? He still got his peanut butter. I know. I don't want him to be creepy. I know, and weird and... Yeah, I want... Like an alien. Brad Pitt, Joe Black, yeah. back. You're in the Red Hot Center, big business. And I thought you were just a regular Joe. I am Joe. Not the one that I met this morning. 
You acted like a stranger. That is not my intention. And what happened to that sweet guy from the coffee shop? I would like it if we were friends. Things I don't want to happen are to have him die. I really like him. So He's very the other kind. one can go back to his body. Uh, oh, is that what you're gonna say? What? <laughs> what are you gonna say? Well, I don't want Joe, real Brad Pitt, mm. to die. Yeah. But I am certain. Should you say who I am, our adventure would end abruptly. He's blackmailing me. Yeah. Threatening. You promised this undertaking of yours involves only me, and uh, I won't tell anyone who you are. Sounds fair enough. Good. Uh, this is Joe Black. He's a. Uh, he was not impressed that he's uh, there. Personal associate of mine, and uh, hello, Quince. I know this is unusual, and my apologies, and. Uh, it's nice to see you. Didn't expect you, but uh, certainly you can't get enough of a good thing. It's like Buddy the Elf. Yeah, like, <laughs> seriously. Going to work. In order to reach the world, you will have to go through John Bonacue. Reporting the news is a privilege and a responsibility. I urge you to agree. This company is not for sale. But given our needs, given the future, the truth is joining John Bonacue is every bit as certain as death and taxes. Death and taxes? Yes. <laughs> what an odd pairing. It's just a saying, Mr. Black. What an odd pairing. You're not familiar with the phrase, in this world nothing is certain, but death and taxes? I am now. Glad I could be of some help. I keep I a regular can... office hours if there's any further information you might need on sayings. Oh, Drew. Oh, boy. You're going down in my books real quick. How nice you look. Is that your uniform? What are you doing here, Joe? I'm here to see you. I don't have time to see you right now. I'm um, about to start making rounds and I'll... Very well, I'll watch. Watch me do what? Make rounds and examine back-to-back yeah. -back patients. It's like so cringeworthy, but also I'm like so intrigued. Yeah. Yeah. My mama is sicker than him. Oh, Bia. No, mama. I'm going to die. Mama, stop it. It's just a man. No, Bia, sister. No devil, no dopey. Everything going to be iry. I from that next place. You waiting here to take us? No, man, I on holiday. Take me to that mix, please. It's not your time, no. Make it time, please. What? She wants to die? Yeah. Doesn't she want to say goodbye to her daughter? Or is he making a pain go away? I don't know. I don't want him to kill her right now. I realize now my being here is not quite appropriate. I'm glad that you came. Joe, I'm with Drew. Not now. <laughs> Pardon my candor, but uh, I was confounded by your decision this morning. Why? This merger is the vehicle. Perhaps my a merger is a way to bring Bill's company into the 21st century, and perhaps it isn't. And perhaps cheating on your French philosopher's exam at the Groton School was an expedient way to get your diploma, and perhaps it wasn't. Forget Bonacue. Scrub him. I'm tired of his fancy yeah. name and his fancy offer. And I'm not going for it. You think it's because he knows, like, maybe his time is limited and he's yes. thinking differently about his legacy? Yeah, 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 that's what I think. Legacy. I don't want anybody buying up my life's work, turning it into something it wasn't meant to be. A man wants to leave something behind. He wants it left behind the way he made it. He wants it to be run the way he ran it, with a sense of honor, of dedication, of truth. Okay? Oh, Drew's gonna lose it when Susan's <laughs> no. in love with Joe. I'm really liking Quince. I know. <laughs> so does Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Quince handed me the role. It was, was great. We were friends. Human. I, we're going to go in together. I'll clue you in. The timing has got to be right because the old man says it's up to Joe. He says it's up to Joe? Those are his words? Yeah. It's up to Joe, huh? Yeah. That's what he said. That's what he... Drew's about to lose it. Mm -hmm. So much I wanted to say, but uh, I can't. So, uh, yeah, I better sit down. Oh, one other thing. Why don't we all have dinner again tomorrow night, okay? Dinner again? Yeah. You haven't had enough of us yet, Dad? Mm. No. Oh, I think I love him. Yeah, he's so tender. Joe stopped by the hospital today, so... He did? Yeah. Maybe next time you go to the hospital, you'll take us along with you. Perhaps you could remind me. Well, I'll make a note of it. Anything else I can do for you? I want to come along, too. See Susie Strutter's stuff. <laughs> You're on the table, hmm? Why'd you go to the hospital? I don't know. You're just curious? About Susan? I wouldn't put it that way. How would you put it? I ask a simple question, I expect a straight answer. That's what I'm used to. Anybody who doesn't give it to me, I fire. Are you going to fire me, Bill? Daddy will do fine. Besides, he's got Joe. And it seems you do, too. Oh, 
You're out of line. He's a creep. I don't like the way he looks at you. I don't like the way he talks to you. And vice versa. I'm sorry. Because I like the way he looks and talks to me. And vice versa. Are you breaking up? No, I can't. I don't like the way he mm. spoke to you. But I feel better now because of the way you spoke back. And who are you? What are you doing here with my father? You're not going to tell me? You're married, aren't you? Because men who never say anything about themselves, they're, they're always married. No, I'm not. But you, you have a girlfriend. No. So tell me, Joe, how come a man is attractive, intelligent, well-spoken, diffident in the most seductive way, and yet powerful? You know. He's all alone in this world. Would be allowed. Will kill her? Kiss <laughs> death. I'm sorry. I'm so I didn't mean to pry, and uh, we'll just leave it a mystery. It's probably reeling because he doesn't know this feeling. Yeah. Like, what is the nature of your interest in Joe? Remember how you told me about lightning striking? The nature of it's in there somewhere. I don't think this is the lightning you're looking for. I mean, Drew is a good man. I know I didn't seem to be completely in his corner before, but... Uh... Now we love Drew, and Joe doesn't measure up. What's going on? Nothing. When you say nothing that way, it is not nothing. I know you're all as uncomfortable as I am to be meeting like this. No. Not only is he still interested, he's sweetening his offer. Drew is a sneaky little Annie. snake. A company wants to get bad directors. Or I'm sorry to say that if we're to examine this new offer responsibly, we must do so without its chairman. Bontecue was so anxious to get us, he said he'd take parish communications with Bill Parrish or without. Parish communication? You weasel. Oh, this makes me feel ill. You're taking this too far, Drew. Yeah, yeah. Drew. It's not your company. Make your own if you want it. For real. Who is Joe Black? What is his relationship to Bill Parrish? And most important, what is behind? His influence on our chairman. He's had advisors before. Nobody tells Bill what to do. Thanks for coming, Quince. Man. If Quince sure. Quince, you have to Hi, be above this. This is a secret meeting, Quince. I hope you'll respect its nature. Hey, oh, I hate this so much. He was uncomfortable and sneaky and wrong. Mm -hmm. Won't you share with our board the information you gave me last night? Uh, I, I've been making a little hay while the Bonacue sun was shining. Two, possibly three, new and, and, and boiling hot prospects for merger. And how did Bill react to the leads you've developed? He was interested, but yeah. he was concerned about the timing? Yes. He says it's up to Joe. It's up to Joe. You're twisting the words. You don't get it. He's only the most famous pastry chef in America for the party, Dad. Ah. The goddamn party. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Mm. I'm sorry. She really cares. Yeah, she's looking really hard. Put your lips around this. It's just out of this world. I mean, I'm... you just don't care. Oh, why am I doing this? This one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Black, would you care for peace? Yes, I love one. Wait, I don't know how this is gonna go. I know, and I don't even know how I want it to go. I know. Me neither. He has um, Jefferson's parliamentary manual. I love your smell. I like the way you smell too. Well, she turns around. I know. She can't not. She's never I've never like. Wanted something it love for it to happen, but also not. I know. But he's dead. I know. I don't. I can't decide what I want. It's like the more mysterious he is, the more she wants him. I know. Him. He's got to be so confused. Yeah. Because. Obviously, he would not want his daughter falling in love with death. Someone who, like, doesn't really exist. Right. Hello, Jennifer. Good Good morning, Mr. Wait. The board is waiting. Board? Didn't you call a board meeting? 
I want this kid to be able to throw Drew out Me so too. dang fast. Be loyal to your man, the man who made you. Answer. The answer is no. Quick enough for you? Hear the details? No, I'm not interested in the details, and I'm not interested in the big picture either. What I am interested in is how my board got convened behind my back and is entertaining a further proposal from a man with whom it offends me to do business. I made a decision. Case closed. Before you do, yeah. Bill, while we're here, mm -hmm. there's a second question the board would like a response to. Who is the man standing to your left? What are his credentials? What is his relationship to you? The board is deeply concerned. We have a right to know how you are managing the operations of this company. A motion has been brought before the board to invoke Article 19 of the Corporate Charter. <gasps> Give him a chance to speak, you dirty little... Upon our chairman's 65th birthday. I'd with a golden parachute of such magnitude that his feet will never touch the ground. Oh. Please indicate your vote by yes or no. Yeah, we agree, Brian. Yes. 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 No. No. Motion's passed. Just like that? Oh, I feel ill. Oh, okay. Just like that, they can push him out of his own company? Wow. Oh my gosh, I... I... I didn't mean to do this. Trains left the station, pal, and you're aboard. Once John Bonnecue acquires Parish Communications, it's going to break the park. Pedal it piece by piece to the highest bidder. That was a game plan right from the start. I set it up for him and he smacks it out of the park. Ramifications for you? You'll be farting through silk. You'll sell your stock. You'll be positively, truly rich. I want to hit him. I'm going to expose you. <laughs> Go right ahead. You tell William Parish how you betrayed him in a secret board meeting. Tell Allison. How you helped her father lose his company? The rage. Death can take him. Yeah. Prince, you can still explain what yeah. happened. They yeah. all trust you. They'll believe you. I believe him. He's just a tender soul. I don't know what I, I want. Conflicted. So conflicted. But he's deaf. I don't know. I know. Is he allowed to do this? I don't know. Who's his boss? Yes, seriously. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. This just went way past complicated. I feel like after living, he's never gonna want to bring death again. Yeah. He's gonna know what he's taking away. Love this. Like, family. Do you like making love with me? Or do you love peanut butter? Yes. Much more. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, you're at the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong woman. I'll be the judge of that. I'm her father. With all due respect, I'm not asking your permission. Are you goddamn my son! Why you picked me? I still don't understand. I've That's lived a first-rate life, and I find it eminently usable. Everybody wants something, Joe. You're violating the laws of the universe. You may be the pro, Joe, but I know who you are. I don't like your tone. And I don't like your references. And I don't give a shit. Be careful, Bill. He's having a very bad day. Oh, I still hate Drew. I kind of wanted him and Joe to be a team, though. They were going to be buddies, and then he was going to save her. And yeah. him, and then... Why are you looking for Joe? Love, passion, obsession. All those things that you told me to wait for. You, you clearly trust him, depend on him. So why aren't those things good enough for me? What are you afraid of, Dad? That I'll fall head over heels for Joe? Well, I have. Just like you did with Mom. And isn't that what you've always wanted for me? Oh, this is so hard. I know. I don't think Joe's going to be with us either. But Joe, you're on very, very dangerous ground. I love him. I don't care if you love him! I'm telling you! Uh... I'm sorry. I love you, too. Oh, this, this movie! How can this end in a good I way? I don't know. You're in love? She know your real self. Schoolboy things in your head. Badness for you. 
badness for her. But you're not in your right place, mister. Me neither. No more. Take me and you come with me now. But the truth is, it's bound to happen. So take that nice picture you got in your head home with you. But don't be fooled. We lonely here mostly too. Oh, she's a wise, wise woman. Mm -hmm. They got enough nice pictures. I have the feeling, all in all, what I made this voyage for has served its purpose. What do you say? It's time to go? I'm ready. No! Not before your birthday party? Not the present for him. I know, but... I know here's retirement. Tomorrow. After the party. Did he say tomorrow? That's a sad, because probably all he wants is like a night in with his daughters, not this huge party. <gasps> Quince? Huh? I find myself a little confused. <laughs> About what? Love. Love. You love Allison, don't you? Yes, I do. But Allison loves you. <laughs> oh. You know each other's secrets. Your deepest, darkest secrets. You're free. You're free to love each other completely. I told do you me. like me, Joe? Oh, yes, Quince. One of my favorites. What would you say if you knew it was me who brought the Elmville so Parish? Bad. No, it wasn't. I told uh, Drew and the board that Bill depended on you. Drew and Bonnick, you were going to chop, chop up the company, sell it off for parts of Bonnick. I was the fool who made it all happen. Go to Bill Parrish and tell him the truth. He'll forgive you. Yes, tell him the truth. Yes. If you explain it. Daddy, after all, you've been a wonderful father. I haven't been the father to you that... Uh... That you've been to Susan? No, I wasn't going to say that. But that's what you were thinking. And that's okay, because I know that you love me. I felt loved. Never mind favorites. You're allowed to have one. The point is, you've been mine. Oh my gosh. She's mm. heartbreaking sweet. I really feel I have everything I could have ever wanted. My best. Look at her <laughs> That's insane. Oh. His unnatural. <laughs> How so beautiful he is. My father told me that you might be leaving. Your father and I, our time together has come to an end. I'm in love with a man, but I don't know who he is, where he's going, or when. I can tell you the one part tonight. <laughs> so it does get worse. No worse than it gets for me. I'm in love with a woman. Then don't. So much I should tell you. Like that'll come. Yeah, that'll come. Oh, this is breaking my heart in so many ways. I opened open my big mouth oh. one too many times. Everything, everything just got all. Uh, it's okay, Quince. I understand. You've always meant well, and I appreciate that. Sometimes things just turn out wrong. However, I do have some unfinished business with Drew. Get him on the helicopter? Yes. I'm gonna tell this guy how I feel about him face to face. Parker, I'm in love with your daughter, and I'm taking her with me tonight. <gasps> Susan's my daughter. She has a wonderful life ahead of her. You're gonna deprive her of it, and you're telling me you're sorry? No, love is selfless. If you love her, you let her live. Yeah. It's not love. Some aimless infatuation in which, for the moment, you feel like indulging. It's missing everything that matters. Not hurting the object of your love. So that's what love is, according to William Paris? Multiply it by infinity and take it to the depth of forever, and you will still have barely a glimpse of what I'm talking about. Those were my words. Well, they're mine now. Did you tell her who you are? No. Does she know you say you love her, but you don't know what love is? She loves you, but she doesn't know who you are. Bottom line is, Joe, you're swindling her soul, and you're doing it with your eyes wide open. I'm past caring what you like and what you don't like. You're stealing my daughter, and I'm not going to let you. Are you not threatening me? Yeah, I certainly hope so. And what I dream of is a man who will discover her, and that she will discover a man who will love her, who is worthy of her, of this world, of this time, and has the grace and compassion and fortitude to walk beside her as she makes her way through this beautiful thing called life. Enough! What I know is what I want. What? And what I want is Susan. And there's nothing you can do about it. <gasps> oh, 
Why did you come in here? I'm so mad at him. Because you've somewhere, somehow developed into a good guy and you know this is all wrong. Reveal everything there is to know about yourself and let the chips fall where they may. He's right. She felt the lightning, not for him. For the guy in the yeah. coffee shop and everything else has been after him. Mm -hmm. He's kind of yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of like adorable, an, yeah. but uh -huh. like, still. Yeah. There is something I do want to tell you. But you can't. Remember that morning in the coffee shop when you said, it's wrong with taking care of a woman. She takes care of you. And I said you'd have a hard time finding a woman like that these days. Why you found one, Joe. That you didn't want me to be your doctor because you didn't want me to examine you. Why I got to examine you after all. The people. I know. Because he has to break her heart now. Uh -huh. But I hope he lets the guy come back. Make it live happily ever after. Mm -hmm. I know. I like me. I feel like we're lifting off. It's not going to take it, right? What's happening? will be here in two minutes. Shut up and sit down. Yeah. Drew. You're a useless sack of shit, Drew. Sick. You play footsie mm. with John Bonacuse. I don't know where you get that idea. The board didn't know you were a mole. Because of me, he has lost his work, his company, his reputation. So now, given these losses, I'm compelled to end the need for secrecy. The time has come to tell you who I am. So tell me. Tell me, I'm peeing in my pants. I, Joe, please, kindly let me take it from here. Am what? An agent for the Internal Revenue Service. Yes. <laughs> yes, he's um, he's an agent for the Internal Revenue Service. Death and taxes. <laughs> the agency asked Bill for his cooperation in an undercover investigation of Montague, and I offered to cooperate, and we're very grateful. Unfortunately, that is what is known as a conflict of interest. Undisclosed conflict of interest. And a likely conviction. Very likely. <laughs> they are a team. Uh, we're going to offer you a deal. Confess to the board every detail of your participation, then submit your resignation. What do I get? Get not to go to jail. As soon as I get back to the city, I'll meet with the board. You're meeting with the board right now, Drew. I suppose a motion to reconfirm Parrish as chairman of the board of Parrish Communications. I'll say you, board. Drew got his justice. Yes! <laughs> Who would have believed it? You, an IRS agent, death and taxes. <laughs> it's a final speech. No. His no. words of wisdom to depart upon this earth. Or he's going to give a speech and it's going to convince Joe there's an exception. What a glorious night. Sometimes we had our ups and downs, but we're all together. You're mine for a night. That you would have a life as lucky as mine, where you can wake up one morning and say, I don't want anything more. 65 years. Don't they go by in a blink? He is going somewhere. I want you to know how much I love you. That you've given a meaning to my life that I had no right to expect. I don't think she's put it together that he's going with her. No. I don't think she'll ever know. I don't want you to ever worry about me. I'm going to be okay. And I have no regrets. I want you to feel the same way. Oh. I love you, Daddy. That's why it's okay. Everybody's saying goodbye. I'm still here.
this happen? I think I'm okay. I'm not okay with this. He's at peace. Happy birthday, Bill. Now that we have a moment, would you mind if I express my gratitude for what you did for Susan? I've never heard her speak of any man as she spoke of you. These things have a way of working out. Would you mind if I express my gratitude for you, for the time you've given me, for the person you are? Don't blow smoke up my ass. You ruined my autopsy. <laughs> It's hard to let go, isn't it? Yes, it is, Bill. And that's life. What can I tell you? Should I be afraid? Not a man like you. He doesn't know where he is. Yeah. He gave him back? Yeah, I think so. I hit Swagger back. <laughs> well, where did you go? I don't know. It's all kind of blurred up and hazy, but... Do you know what I mean if I said I don't think I'll ever figure it out? You look beautiful. That's what I mean. And when you disappeared around the corner, it's the show I ever going to see you again. Oh man, this is a lot to process. <laughs> so, coffee shop. Yeah. I asked you if I said something wrong, and you said no. Mm -hmm. It was so right, it scared you. And then you said, you said you liked me. I said, I like you so much. Mm. Oh! <laughs> what do we do now? It'll come to us. Wow! That was not about a gorilla. <laughs> you have not been more wrong. I swear, I remember like when this came out and there being something about a zookeeper or like, that was not what I was expecting at all. No, so many twists and turns. I can't tell what genre of movie it was. I know, but it was good. It was, and it made me think like, I'm like yes. existentially, like Seriously. would I want to know if, like would you want to know? Yeah, I mean, I think it just like, yeah, movies like this, Make you think about your life and make sure your priorities straight and right. you be a good person. And you know, like he was so respected, he said, I have no regrets. I hope that when my time is I feel the same way. Yeah. It was weird though. Like it was I know, there was so much that I just could not figure out. It's funny because it's like such a real life movie, but it has this like Supernatural. Yeah, like almost like Disney like yes. touch on like, it. Like pixie magic. Yeah. Of, he actually, Brad Pitt did such a good job of like, you like believed him that he like didn't know. Yeah, the acting was fantastic. Yeah. I, like I've never seen him in a too. role like that. It was it was really it was sweet good. though. Yeah, it was and a sweet movie. as sad as it was, I think you're right. I think mm -hmm. it was okay. He lived a really brilliant life. Yeah. He gets to go be with his wife. And mm -hmm. I love that line at the end where he's like, do I need to be scared? He's like, not a man like you. I know. Ah! Oh, that was so good. So yeah, that one really surprised mm -hmm. me. And Brad Pitt, no words. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a lot of fun. Thank mm -hmm. you guys so much for watching along with us. Until the next movie.